Ooh. How you doing, Gav? It's Thursday night. It's a training session, first game on Saturday. Yeah, no. Going well, Stu. Um, as you've seen, you've interviewed nearly everybody. That uh, The squad is, is, is already looking like it's assembled, to be honest with you, in the sense of uh, recruitment's gone really well. Um, and it's, it's nice in the, the three or four sessions we've had. Uh, we've had good numbers, everybody's been here. And um, the, the guys have come back in some good shape. And uh, it's been, been really enjoyable, been hard work. Um, but it's uh, it's been really good. Now everybody's looking forward to the nine games we have, yep. and it won't be like silly minutes and everyone's going to play nine ninety minutes. Not that it's uh, it's especially these first two. It's going to be again get getting the fitness, the minutes in. But it's all going to be uh, it's all programmed and planned for specific specific minutes for each player. So um, really looking forward to it. Getting out on the grass, seeing some fans. Last last preseason, obviously there was ten preseason games, but they were against teams that we weren't expected to do really, really well against them and and, yeah. and, and we didn't get any results apart from the first one against uh, against Coventry Sphinx. Yeah, I'm, I, again, I've, I've, I've been a player, I've, I look at, and for me, pre-season, it, it's all about getting to know each other, getting a, a, a game plan together, getting the minutes in, um, conditioning your bodies, because Look, everyone wants to win, but it's not about that. It's, it's about learning and understanding that we're all geared up, ready for that 5th of August. So, again, it doesn't matter who we play, and it's vice versa. Again, the opposition will probably have the same mindsets as that as well. That um, they, may, they may have trialists they want to look at. We've got new players that are coming into the team. We've kept a big number of players. And for us, it's just nice that we can get out on the grass, the fans can come and watch a bit of football, because I know... Uh, we've missed it, so I'm sure every fan, football fan, has also missed uh, going to a game of football. So it'd be nice to see everybody down here on Saturday. Okay, what I wanted to do with the opportunity tonight, yep. Gav, is it, obviously we, we we talk about the players coming in, but one of the most important things is your team behind the scenes. Can you yep. tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, um, again, we've had a couple move on um, due to personal reasons, but. As, as it stands, we're, we're a close-knit. I've got people around me that I trust with, with everything and know personally. So, for instance, my assistant, uh, Keenan, I've uh, known him a long time, which I know he came in towards the back end of the season and he was a, it was a blessing, really. I mean, he uh, came in, uh, worked with us and he, 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 it was just brilliant for me to have somebody that I know is a quality coach, quality guy, um, knows football and we're, and we're on the got the same values as a person so um, it was really good to, to have Keenan because we've known each other many years um, and again we've just hit the ground running it feels we've just planned the pre-season how we, we both would like and uh, it, and that's what we'll be doing um, Lauren as well who for me is absolutely brilliant she she's brilliant within that um, medical department she she has a lot of experience she under she knows what she's doing and all the lads uh, again, no. If there's any sort of issues, they can all go in there and and feel comfortable, knowing that they're going to be treated correctly. So for me, uh, Lauren and uh, Keenan are massive for what we want to need to be doing this year. Um, unfortunately, Kieran, who was the goalkeeping coach, due to his commitment to Birmingham City, has just increased. Um, Key has to move on, so we're actively looking for a goalkeeping coach to help Liam and Louis. Um, which again we will we'll, we'll 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 get we'll get one in, but as it as it stands we, we're still on the the look there, and then it's it's more about the team of uh, Jordan, Mark, Woody, yourself, and, and Jed and the board of directors. It's like we're all a team together. So there's nothing that if I need or Keenan or Lauren, we know who to go to, and it, and, it, and everybody here now works together, and I think it's fantastic. Last year you also had an analyst. Yeah. If you still is that position there or no, is it no? No. So Alf again, due to his university, um, he's had to he, he he's had to commit to his university and his education. Obviously, it's key, um, but he just can't commit because it is it's a big ask um, to do three nights a well two nights a week and a Saturday. So we'll still keep in contact and um, look if if we feel. That we need somebody like that and that skill set, we'll go and recruit. But at the minute, our main focus is on bringing in a goalkeeping coach. Uh, 
and and we'll just take it from there, really, Stu. Absolutely. Now, Keenan pledged himself before the end of the last season to yep. you, so you will have had that stable setting. Yeah. How do you go about recruitment in the summer? Well, um, again, I think we sit down and we we've identified a, a way we want to play. So. I'm very defensively minded. I was a defender, so but naturally, we all have an input in the sense of how we feel it's going to give us the best opportunity to have a successful season. Like we're not here to be a number. We want to be at that top end of the table, challenging. Um, so again, it was um, sitting down, working out a profile of player that we feel is not only going to be. Um, positive on the pitch they also need to put into this football club because like you say it's a big big family orientated community club and uh, for me it, it, it's, it's it's brilliant as a, as a young manager with people who are around to support in the facilities we've got it's huge so we identified a profile of player um, we had two or three in each position and we went for our targets and after myself and Jed spoke and realised these players, it was it was actually easier than we thought. It's been the easiest I've had um, because, again, it's a credit to the football club. And when players are looking and people are coming for the reasons that, that are the right reasons, um, it makes the whole negotiations and the whole conversations a lot easier. And um, I'm really, really happy. I know Keenan is as well, Jed, that we have 17 to 20 lads here now that all want to be part of this football club and they're all going to be fighting for that, that jersey so healthy competition and uh, yeah really looking forward to it I think we all are <laughs> well best of luck for the season cheers Gavra. thank you so much thank you mate <laughs> right.